Hey designer Alex here, welcome to the channel and welcome to the first Figma tutorial of this year right here on the channel. This is just the first tutorial where we're going to try a few things and it's just geared towards the beginners. As the year grows on and as I create more and more tutorials, they're going to be more and more advanced. And let me know in the comments below, would you like to see fully fledged landing pages designed on a channel in longer tutorials or just some shorter tips? And also let me know in the comments below, would you like me to create uh, Webflow tutorials where we then take these pages that we designed in Figma and develop them fully in Webflow. I'm really curious to see what you guys think about that and would you watch something like that. So just let me know down in the comments below. In terms of XD content, I'm going to scale it down a lot this year until we see what's going to happen uh, with the Adobe Figma merger uh, going down the line. I'm of course Adobe XD ambassador, so I'm going to keep continuing creating some sort of XD content uh, until we see what's actually going to happen at the end. But in my honest opinion they're going to scale the xd down a lot and then focus all of their attention on figma but figma is going to be a lot better and it's going to remind a lot of xd at the end of the day once this merger completes and once the figma actually goes uh, into the adobe family and be uh, incorporated fully so for this video as i said we are just going to do some basic uh, beginner um, website design tutorial make sure to uh, enjoy it and let let me know down in the comments below about Webflow and about longer website designs like landing pages. Alright, so here is my file which I'm going to use for today. And this is just a first of many Figma tutorials. So let me know in the future, would you like to have these files? Would you like me to give these files to you? But just remember, I'm all, almost always using premium resources such as images and icons. And it's the same in this one as well. So there might be need for you to purchase some assets if you want your designs to be exactly the same. So just let me know in the comments, would you like me to include uh, these practice files for future tutorials? So first thing first let's use F on our keyboard to create a frame and let's go with something like 1440 with 1080 something like that and let's call it our travel website design right here and let's start by adding some layout so I'm going to click right here to add a grid instead of grid I'm going to use the columns let's use 12 Let's go with something like 3% right here. And let's go with 120 on each side. And let's see, let's go with 40 for the gutter width. I think that's going to be okay. Now, first things first, let's go to our assets right here. And let me drop a logo, which I already previously included inside. Let me hold my Alt or Option. And let's go with, I don't know, 40 or maybe 20 from the top. Let's see. Yeah, let's go with 40 for now. Now, first things first, let's create our navigation type T and I'm going to uh, use something like, let's see reviews because this website would probably need reviews. And let's see what we have in a styles. I created a style and it's open sans 18 regular, just so you know, let's create shift A so that we can create an auto layout. Let's use control or command D to duplicate it. Let's type in destinations and let's duplicate it one more time. Travel stories because blog is kind of a boring thing to include these days. And let's go with packages because why not? Perhaps you want to uh, have some packages and explore some packages. Let's see nav items. And here in the settings, let's position it to go uh, to be left aligned. And let's see the distance between our elements can be something like, let's see, 24 or maybe 32. Yeah, 32, I think it's good. Let's snap it to the center like so. And let's position it to the middle of our logo or better yet, let's select both of them, hit right here. And there we go. Now I'm going to use T once again and type in something like book a trip like that. And I'm going to use the fill color, click right here. And let's see, maybe I can use some uh, colors which I already have. 
I have this almost white and if I hit to edit it right here you can see it's just f f6 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 so it's what the name suggests almost white hit shift a one more time to create a frame and what I'm going to do right here is include a fill color and for the fill color I'm going to use this main blue and the color of it is uh, 5679 f5 so I'm going to use that one and let's see let's give it some corner radius of 8 maybe something like that there we go and I'm going to go from the center this time let's say and let's see maybe I can add something uh, of a horizontal padding let's see I want to make my button be this big so let's see if I extend it we are at let's see 61 let's go with 60 this time so let's see let's go on each side maybe 16 but first let me adjust this so let's go from the center then let's go back to here put this in the center so it goes from the center let's go with 16 this time or maybe 24 let's say there we go and here yeah I think I think this is going to be okay so let's see let's actually manually extend it to something like this and let's now add 8 as a corner radius and I think that's going to be good let's try to type in something different start your journey okay so let me actually go back to book a trip there we go instead of fix I'm going to use hug contents and now I'm going to extend this to maybe 32 or 33 let's go with 35 I think that's going to be just fine and now it's going to start expanding so start you can see what it does so uh, the overall width is going to be 167 and here we are going to have 35 um, corner radius and let's go with main button something like that and let's drag that one off to the side and let's create a component and I'm going to create a quick variant inside of a variant I'm going to call it hover hover state maybe and for my hover state the only thing which I want to do right here is to turn this into uh, a different color and I'm going to use main blue and for here I'm going to include a stroke and for the stroke color we can just use our main blue so like this like this and I'm going to get rid of the fill color like so so final thing I want to do is go to the prototype select my main button my default state drag it to here and instead of on click I'm going to use while hovering and it's going to change to this button so that's it that's the only thing which I want to do basically for this design because it's our sort of first Figma tutorial and I want you guys to be able to navigate your way around uh, this tool I'm going to drag and drop it in place position it to here there we go and of course the more of these tutorials we are going to make later the more complex they are going to get but for now let's just use them like this and let's continue where we left off so let's go back to our layers what I want to do is to include some text right here so I'm going to type T explore the world like never before there we go and I have styles already prepared so I'm going to get rid of this style and use this style which is um, open sense 60 in size control D to duplicate this and I'm going to re detach this style and use my nav style right here and let me copy and paste some text inside just some placeholder text and I'm going to nudge it down until I have something like this for example I think that's going to be okay and let's see here what I'm going to use is maybe 40 for the distance 
let's see what we have 40 there we go and i'm going to go to my assets and drag a book a trip button right here and have a 40 as well and here what i'm going to use is start your journey there we go and i can go back to my layers panel and select everything hit shift a for example to create an auto layout and i'm going to call it for example hero text or something now that that's done let's work on our image because i want to have an image right here and before that let's see one two three four five six seven i'm going to have the seven columns take place for this text and this text uh, text content so before I move on any further, let me drag my image inside. It's really extremely huge. And this is what I was talking about. This image is actually from Envato Elements. So let me know if you guys are comfortable with it. Of course, you can find other images online. You can find free images online and you can include uh, these images um, however you want in your designs, just not the ones I'm using because they're premium. And uh, in that case, you will have to purchase them if you want to use those. Let's hit O to create uh, an ellipse. Let's go with, let's see what we have right here. Something like this perhaps a little bit bigger make sure we are in the center of our image or better yet we can just grab them make sure we centered them something like this and let's see maybe we can move this up a little bit then this elix is going to be bg circle for the background circle and i'm going to put it just behind our girl and for it i already have a style prepared which is the gradient and it has a linear setting and if i click right here you can see it's just the variation of uh, this color which is f uh, d b 3 c 0 so let me apply that and you can see how it looks like so it just basically goes from uh, top to bottom uh, darker to lighter i'm going to uh, narrow it down just a touch and make sure that these two are centered once again and make sure that they go outside to the edge right here there we go and now let's just position our text to be in the center there we go and now that that's done what i want to do is actually duplicate this one more time hit ctrl d this bottom one i'm going to call the mask and this mask we are going to adjust in just a second so let's select all of them click right here to mask it and then use our mask to expand it and adjust it where we want to actually have it somewhere around here i think it's going to work quite well and then i can nudge it up just a little bit just so that i can cut it roughly into a circle because i don't want it to be perfect and i can position this curl a little bit to here to have a bit better result overall then what i can do is select my entire image and then perhaps enlarge it a little bit to something like this and i'm going to nudge it uh, into place once again position my text a little bit down and then select both of them and nudge them up a little bit now the only thing which is left for me to do is to dress it up a little bit i'm going to use the assets which i already included um, in my previous design example to something like this and i just want to go around and position these uh, roughly into places uh, i have the airplane ticket and i'm going to nudge it roughly around here maybe then i have this globe i'm going to put it here and maybe this camper caravan i'm going to use it right around here now that that's done i have a world map i'm going to drag it and drop it uh, into place roughly around here it's really low opacity something like three percent i'm going to right click and send all the way to back and there we go basically that's it uh, i have one more icon which i'm going to drag because i will need it a little bit later and then i can collapse these because i want to go back to my layers because i want to use t and type in something like most popular destinations 
and let's change its text style once again from nav to h2 which is 40 once again uh, we have open sense right here and from here to here we have something like 130 which is fine maybe i can nudge it here and then nudge this up a little bit to something like this now i think this is going to work quite well in this case but maybe if you want a little bit more space you can grab these you can grab your world map and just nudge it up a little bit until we are something like 35 until we are 40 because remember we are 40 from the top as well what i can do here as well is also select all of these hit ctrl g or shift a if i want to but i'm not i'm just going to hit ctrl g to group them and i'm going to call it top nav for example because I like to keep my things organized and perhaps position it right around here. Uh, this should go just above our map because we want it to cover it. And then what we're going to do is um, create some sort of an image. And for that image, I'm going to use R for the rectangle and use, let's see, three columns for my image, something like that. And those three columns, um, can take away in the space of that one image and let's see maybe uh, height can be something a little bit more something like this let's see maybe we can nudge it to be in the center 25 25 there we go and I'm going to um, go ahead and adjust this a little bit use 8 for the corner radius there we go and maybe I can nudge this even further so I am at 40 there we go and you can always extend the bottom uh, portion of your website so now to get us started what i'm going to do actually is duplicate this text there we go and right click bring to front and here what i'm going to use is not h2 but uh, that nav style and i'm going to type in the name so for example norway for the country and this is where we are going to need this icon there we go map in. I'm going to nudge it right here and this rectangle I'm going to use let's say destination image and let's see what we can do right here so perhaps I can nudge this to let's see 11 or 12 yeah I think 12 is going to work just fine make sure to center them shift a to create uh, auto layout and I'm going to call it destination name and let's see what we can do for the background color. I'm going to use the fill. Uh, instead of this white, I'm going to use almost white like I did previously. And I'm going to use again that eight uh, for the corner radius or maybe something smaller because this selection is smaller overall. Let's see what we can do. Maybe 16 right here. There we go. And eight right here. I think it's going to work just fine. There we go. Maybe even something smaller, let's see, maybe four. Yeah, I think four is uh, a bit better. And let's see if we type in eight right here. Perhaps eight and four are your values. So let's hit shift, left arrow, bottom arrow, so that we can position it 10 from each side, as you can see right here. And there we go, now we have our card. I'm going to go ahead and group these two. I'm going to call it a destination card. And I'm going to make a few copies, so control D, position it right here so that we take two uh, and then control D, control D two more times. Now the second one is going to be Sri Lanka, like so. And let me quickly position this to be 10. The third one is going to be Iceland, like so. Destination name. Let's see where we are, 14. And this final one is going to be New Zealand. And let's see for it, let's nudge it to here and 10. Now, one final thing which is left for me to do is just to include my images and I already have my images prepared on the side. And to do that, I'm just going to select the destination image drag my image onto a fill and it's going to populate it with that particular image so let's see this is sri lanka let me drag and position the image there then we have the iceland drag an image there wait for it to load 
and finally we have the New Zealand. Hopefully this image optimization is going to be much 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 better when Adobe finishes uh, acquisition of Figma because you can see how long I have to uh, wait and I have pretty stable internet and uh, these images are already pre-optimized. So there we go, that's our website basically. So let's hit quick preview and let's see what we have so far. If I hover, you can see that we have these hover effects on our website and obviously we can add hover to our nav but for this very first tutorial i didn't want uh, to bore you guys too much with too many details because uh, i mostly created xd content up until now and i'm going to obviously ramp up the figma content a lot this year now one final thing i want to uh tell you before I wrap up this video is let me know in the comments would you like me to create longer websites so not just these hero sections with these cards but at the actual landing pages for example and let me know would you like to see those landing pages developed in Webflow right here on the channel because I wanted to create a lot of Webflow content for a while now and this is just a perfect uh, example and perfect opportunity for me to do so so let me know in the comments comments below would you like me to create uh, fully fledged websites landing pages for example and would you like to see those landing pages then developed in Webflow but that's it for now thank you so much for watching this video if you like this content and you would like to see more of it make sure to subscribe to the channel because I upload new videos almost every single week right here on the channel and a lot more Figma and Webflow content is on the way this year thank you so much for watching this one and until next time Take care.